Hello, mm, I'm going to describe my work briefly. So I, uh, the product we uh, produce are display stands. And we try to, the goal is to make an enticing display of merchandise. The material is corrugated cardboard. And we have three types. One that is called armor and a casual one and a mini so different in thickness and uh, i will now describe the process shortly uh, we start to fetch the right cardboard from the warehouse then we take it to the printing press or if that is busy uh, the ca the cashiering's machine uh, so uh, the printing press produce eye catching posters or drawing scale prints. It is a versatile machine and uh, the cash sharings machine have uh, here the prints are glued together with a cardboard sheet. You put a bunch of cardboard sheet in the feeding trolley, which has uh, width and length guides. Your co-worker put the printing sheet in ready position. And if the adjustments are good, we can run a stack in about 20 minutes. Sometimes the, they tend to bow. Um, the sheets, uh, I mean, into a curve shape. Then we usually put heavy pallets on top to press it flat. When the stack reaches a certain height, we lift it onto a pallet. After two stacks, we have a full pallet ready to go to the punching machine. The punching machine, it operates with the help of a uh, matrix, which is a type of template. A template is made of heavy, thick playwood. Uh, next, the next station is where the clearing or the stripping happens. <clears throat> As the name suggests, we remove the spill onto a conveyor belt that transports it into the compactor outside the building. The compactor flattens all material waste by pressure. An effective tool uh, this station is a hand-driven device with a rotating chain. But you need to apply pressure to it, though. 
We also have a shovel and brooms to sweep the waste onto the conveyor belt. And uh, then we have two we have two glue machines. We have one small and one big. The glue machine has rubber horses that routing leading and dispensing the glue. We have glue pistols that produce hot glue. This has quicker drying but weaker in strength. And we have a glue pistol that produce cold glue. This glue has slower drying but are stronger in strength. After being glued the pieces the pieces of item usually have to dry at about at, at least 20 to 30 minutes before handling. Uh, we're wrapping them in plastic in the packaging machine packaging machine or we putting them or we put them directly into on, into a cardboard box. If we put them directly into a cardboard box, there is only one step left to be taken to the moving trolley. Uh, this wrap this wrap being the box in plastic and we attach a label to it ready a label shows the customer information the manufacturer information product name quantity etc The orders that are packed in the packing machine are wrapped in hard heat shrink wrap. First you collect or gather all the parts that should include in the package. Usually a podium, the body, and a top sign. Most often also with the back supports and or a back piece. We are usually folding the body for delivery purposes. The package or parts are being pressed down to be held in place by an adjustable arm. When it has passed a sensor, a melting device goes down and cut off, separate the package from the two plastic ends that meet here to enclose the parts. Now the package are heading to the oven, which usually holds a temperature around 155 degrees Celsius. The last part of the machine is a roller belt, which is where the go goods lands when they come out of the oven. Mostly it is hot for your hands to grab even though you are wearing gloves. You then put the packages packages into a cardboard box and when it's full it's time to wrap it in using the moving trolley. 
We use a sledgehammer to hit the pallet when it does not fit around the cardboard box before it is plastic wrapped. This is important when it will be loaded onto trucks because there is not very much space to work on. When moving the pallets we use hand trucks or forklifts. We either put them into a space close to the moving trolley or take them directly to the truck or warehouse. That's all. Hope you enjoyed it.